Good morning viewers today i am present before you with the podcast on what is language before i begin the podcast it is advisable that you keep a notebook and a pen so that you can jot down the important points relating to this particular topic it is further advisable to use earplugs for listening to the podcast so here i begin everybody knows the answer to this question but nobody has so far been able to come out with any standard definition that fully explains the term language it is a situation like trying to define the term life everybody knows what life is but one cannot present a satisfactory definition of life in order to understand a term like life one has to talk of the properties or characteristics of living beings similarly the term language can be understood better in terms of its properties or characteristics language is a symbol system according to a definition given by robbins in 1985 i quote language is a symbol system based on pure or arbitrary conventions infinitely extendable and modifiable according to the changing needs and conditions of the speakers unquote further it can be said that language is infinitely modifiable and extendable words go on changing meanings and new words continue to be added to language with the changing needs of the community using it Shakespeare for example used the word stomach to mean courage but as the times have changed stomach no more means courage similarly words like laser sputnik astronaut are of quite recent origin in the english language if uh, we look further we can say that language is the property of human beings and that it is primarily speech brings out the point that it is an important means of communication amongst humans before the start of civilization man might have used the language of science but it must have had a very limited scope language is a fully developed means of communication with the civilized man who can convey and receive millions of messages across the universe an entire civilization depends on language only think of a world without language man would only continue to be a denizen of the forest and the caves language has changed the entire gamut of human relations and made it possible for human beings to grow into a human community on this planet it is not possible to have a single definition of language or the idea that brings out the property of language but there are some important characteristics which can be discussed in order to understand what language actually is so let's know what are they language is a very important means of communication between humans A can communicate his or her ideas, emotions, beliefs or feelings to B as they share a common code that makes up the language. No doubt, there are many other means of communication used by humans. For example, gestures, nods, winks, flags, smiles, horns, shorthand, braille, mathematical symbols, morse code, sirens, sketches, maps, acting, miming, dancing. and so on but all these systems of communication are extremely limited or they to in turn depend on language only they are not so flexible comprehensive perfect and extensive as language is language is so important a form of communication between humans that it is difficult to think of a society without language language is arbitrary in the sense that there is no inherent relation between the words of a language and their meanings or the ideas conveyed by them 
except in the case of hieroglyphics where a picture of an object may represent the object. There is no reason why a female adult human being be called a woman in English, Stri in Hindi, Aurat in Urdu, Zen in Persian, Femin in French or Tinvi in Punjabi. So it can be said that the choice of a word selected to mean a particular thing or idea is purely arbitrary. But once a word is selected for a particular referent, it comes to stay as such for a good amount of time. It may be noted that had language not been arbitrary, there would have been only one language in the world. The arbitrary nature of language permits or presupposes change. But such changes do not normally take place. Names once given are not normally changed. Words in a language are more difficult to change because a whole society has accepted them. Language is not an amorphous, disorganized or chaotic combination of sounds. Any brick may be used anywhere in a building, but it is not so with sounds or graphic symbols standing for the sounds of a language. Sounds are arranged in a certain fixed or established systematic order to form meaningful units or words. At the phonological level, for example, the sounds of a language appear only in some fixed combinations. There is no word that starts with B, Z, B, Z, L, R or Z, L combination. There are several English words having an initial consonant cluster with three consonants. For example, spring, string. But there are no initial tetraphenemic consonant clusters that is a string of four consonants in the same language that is English. Language is thus called a system of systems as it operates at the two levels that is on the level of arbitrariness and on the level of how it is a system of systems. The property of language is also termed duality by some linguists. This makes language a very complex phenomena. Every human child has to master the conventions of the language he or she learns before being able to successfully communicate with other members of the social group in which he or she is placed. Language is primarily made up of vocal sounds produced by a physiological articulatory mechanism in the human body. There are a number of languages which continue to exist even today in the spoken form only. They do not have a written form. The total quantum of speech is much larger than the total quantum of written material. It is because of these reasons that modern linguists say that speech is primary, writing is secondary. Writing did have one advantage over speech. It could be preserved in books or records. But with the invention of magnetic tapes or audio cassettes, it has lost that advantage too. A number of modern gadgets like the telephone, tape recorder, dictaphone or even this podcast prove the primacy of speech over writing in the present time. Language is primarily human. It is humans alone that possess language and use it for communication. Language is in that sense species specific. It is specific only to one set of species. Also. All human beings uniformly possess language. It is only a few deaf and therefore dumb persons who cannot speak. Thus language is species uniform to that extent. Language can convey a large number rather an infinite set of messages whereas the number of messages conveyed through communication system of animals is very limited. Animals for example are able to convey to their fellow animals if they are hungry or afraid. But with human beings, there is so much. Language has to be learned. This learning is possible only in a society. A human child learns to speak the language of the community or group in which he or she is placed. A Chinese infant, if placed in an Indian family, will easily learn to speak an Indian language. He or she picks up the language of the social setup in which he or she grows. Language is thus a form of a social behavior. And finally, before I conclude this podcast, I would like to mention that the entire human progress 
In fact, everything that distinguishes humans from animals depends on language only. Language is today a medium of literature, science, technology, computers, cultural exchanges between social groups and the most powerful, convenient and permanent means of communication in the world. It is ubiquitous, present everywhere in all human activities, thoughts, dreams, prayers, meditations. It is only through language that knowledge and culture are stored and passed from one generation to another. Thus, all human civilization and knowledge are possible only through language and it is an inseparable part of the human society. I hope this podcast on what is language proves to be of help to each one of you. Please mention your questions and observations in the comment section below. Please do like, share and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon for latest update. Thank you for your valuable time. Here's wishing you a great day ahead.